Oh, hey, 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 um, what's happening? Missy Elliott voice. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm turning myself into our Lord and Savior, Satan. So I'm starting this look with beauty makeup, which gives me severe anxiety because I'm not a makeup artist. I just like to put paint on my body using body paints. And I will admit that starting out with my beauty makeup was definitely a mistake because once I put the red paint on my body, as you will see, most of the makeup became obsolete. But I semi learned how to do a smoky eye today, so that's fine. I used lots of warm brown, orange, red and black shades to create this smoky eye. I also carved out my eyebrows and I actually was using these makeup brushes for the first time. They are by a brand called Jessup and they are great. I got them off Amazon. They were like $15 Australian and they are 10 times better than the Morphe brushes I bought a year ago already. Already love them. So I'm making my eyebrows black because I'm going to apply a black wig later because you can't really be a creature of the night or a satanist with blonde hair, badly dyed blonde hair. I feel like if you're trying to be a creep, you got to be a brunette creep. Once I put all of my face makeup on, I then went and added these little ripped mouth effects and then I started painting my lips red and again, that was another mistake. I had a lot of trouble with this look, TBH. The end product was not 100% something that I was down with, um, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. It's a learning curve, a learning process, if you will. So I decided to do a little Joker-esque pointed lip thingy with my Mehron Paradise Aqua Paint in red. It was then time to get naked. Not completely naked, but it was tube top time at least. I started painting myself red water activated paint. You can see me reaching back there to get some bigger brushes because I was not using a big enough foundation brush to apply this makeup, which meant that it got real streaky. It also got really streaky around my neck for some reason. I feel like I probably should have applied some foundation down my chest and neck area before I did this. I normally do when I body paint, but for some reason today I just did not. I painted all the way up my arms, my neck, my chest and my face and I did about three or four full layers of body paint to try and get rid of the streakiness. I think the best thing to do if you're getting streakiness like this is to either do a couple more coats, use a bigger brush, or use a really big fluffy powder brush instead of a flat foundation brush. Normally I can make a flat foundation brush work for this kind of thing, but I think that I definitely would have gotten rid of a lot of those streaks from the edges of the brush with a just, yeah, a basic fluffy brush. You could also go in with something like eyeshadow or a red blush. NARS have a great red blush in uh, the color Exhibit A, which is great. Um, if you want to just powder up and kind of set your body paint and that can also help get rid of some of the streakiness and that gets rid of streakiness when I get in my foundation. I then went up my face and as you can see this is a very cool toned red. It's got a really blue pinky kind of base. Um, I definitely wanted like a very rich red but I didn't want a bright red so this was perfect for this look. And I kind of went as you can see all around my makeup making my makeup moot and then realized that my smoky eye even though it looked really crazy dark for everyday life was definitely not dark enough for having bright red skin. Okay, so then I went in with black over my lips and I liked how this turned out a lot better. Um, I repeated the little pointed joker mouth vibe and I really liked how that turned out. Although I will say black lips are not exactly conducive to making your teeth look super white. I then started shading where it applied my rip mouth. I could still see it through the red paint. You can't really see it on camera, but basically what I was doing was just shading um, some dark browns and black around the edges to try and make it look like it was a, yeah, just a ripped mouth effect. Um, and yeah, just holes going into my skin. And I repeated that on both sides around my jawline um, so that it kind of looked like a little bit of a melting zombie demon, a little bit of a melting zombie demon vibe. I do think I went a little bit heavy handed with the black, um, which was a little bit unfortunate, but that is how the cookie crumbles sometimes. And I did later on go and highlight this with white 
but I would probably advise against doing that and maybe just stick to a light red, orange or pink highlight. Um, when I highlighted this with white, it just looked a little bit cartoonish and didn't really give the effect that I wanted, which was to try and make my skin look a little bit more sunken in. Typically, you should highlight with just a lighter version of the color that you're using. Um, so I did go and eventually powder over it with some orange and red powder and that kind of reduced the highlight and made things sink back a little bit more and look a little bit less cartoony. So I then stuck these horns on that I made out of foam clay by just rolling two basic triangle horn shapes, letting them dry over a couple days and then dremeling some detail in to make them look sort of grown and bony and horny. Cute innuendo. Um, I then painted them using a red color that was similar to my body paint and then I just actually mixed an indigo blue into that red paint to create the black on the bottom. Um, the reason I did that is because, I think I've said this before, but typically if you mix colors that are the opposite on the spectrum, you get a really nice shadow tone as opposed to just going with something like a black or a darker version of the color um, that you are mixing. So instead of just like bright red with dark red to shadow it, you do a little bit of blue or green um, opposite to the particular shade or yeah, opposite to the particular shade that you're using on the color wheel. Um, and that helps create some really cool uh, shadows and depth in a painting. I then went and redid my eyebrows using black body paint and one ended up way bigger than the other so it was a pain in the ass and to be honest I just edited it out of my slow-mo beauty narcissistic montage sods. I just couldn't be bothered cleaning it up. They both turned out good it's just that they were not related on any planet. I also applied the Ardell W Wispy uh, false eyelashes, which are my favorite false eyelashes because they make me feel like not a crazy person, but pretty. And then yeah, some obligatory streaky demon beauty shots up in here, up in here. You're gonna make me lose my mind up in here. And I'm going to continue to say some really strange things as we exit this voiceover. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's the first time I've ever said that in a video. So maybe my self-confidence is getting better. I'm gonna leave you here because I think there's someone walking across my roof. Goodbye.